Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do another episode today on carving our two cooksers. Now this is where we got to last time um, and basically we'd taken our saw and we'd taken off a good portion of this waste wood just so that we could get it ready for the next stage. Um, now there are two ways we can go from here. Either we can start with our knife um, and just very very gradually whittle down and get to where we want to be. Um, alternatively, and what I'm going to be doing today is using my axe. Um, now this is my fairly new axe that you may have seen in a few of my other videos. This is my Hans Carlson Sloyd axe and it's a very small lightweight axe. But if I put it, put it up to my hand there you can kind of see the size. Certainly in comparison to some of my bigger axes like my uh, Grand's Force carving axe. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is just very carefully and gradually carving these down with the axe um, just to get them a little bit closer to where we want to be before moving over to the knife. Um, so what I think I'll do, I'll move the camera just a little bit closer in and we'll make a start. Right then guys, well a couple of quick points before we start. Now obviously this is quite a small piece of work to be carving with an axe. Um, so you just need to be a little bit more careful, pay, pay a bit more attention to safety. Um, now we've obviously still got this nice big thick handle here which we're going to be carving down later on. Um, so that's one way in which you can hold this relatively safely. The other way is actually using the inside of this bowl. So basically if I'm going to be cutting away at this corner here, I'll put my fingers inside the bowl, I'll have my thumb on this back edge here so it's about as far out of the way as I can take it and then we'll carve down like this. Um, now the other thing I was going to say is unlike our regular carving when I use an axe um, we're only wanting to take really small bits of material away. We're not trying to hack away large chunks or anything like that um, and I actually started this one a little bit uh, earlier on today just to see what the condition of the wood was like. Um, now I realize you can't feel it from here but this is starting to get ever so slightly um, how do I put this? It's not rotten, um, but it's starting to get a little bit fragile because it's been inside its carrier bag with quite a lot of moisture. Um, so as I'm carving this away, I mean the chips are coming off nice and easily, um, but we do just need to be mindful and hopefully you can see possibly here by my finger, um, it is getting ever so slightly spongy. Now that's not a huge problem as long as we carry on letting it dry out. Um, but I certainly don't want to let it get any worse than this. Um, so basically well, what I'm going to start off by doing is taking off some of these sharp edges. Um, that will then start gradually rounding this out um, and then we'll just carry on working round from there. Right, so as I said earlier, this is quite a slow process. We are only taking away, you know, really, really small pieces here. Um, and certainly in comparison to this one, you know, you can start to see where we're going with this. We're just literally taking off these sharp edges, starting to round this over. Now, hopefully you can see there, we've got quite um, a lot of material between the bottom of the bowl and the top here, and that's very deliberate. You know, the last thing you want to do is accidentally go a bit too far and cut into this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to carry on with this for a little while, just gradually, gradually taking it down and um, sort of continuing rounding this off. Right then guys, so there you go. We are now starting to get a lot more sort of cookser shaped on here. Um, and the last little thing I want to show you before I finish up for the day, um, was just another way of using your ax when you're getting into a bit more fine detail work like this. Um, and what you can do is if you choke up 
to the front of the head of the, head of the axe as, you know, as close as you can, so a bit like this. Um, and what you can do is rather than putting in sort of chopping cuts, um, which obviously do run the risk of, you know, if you don't line it up properly or if you go a bit too far on one side, you can split something off that you don't intend to. You can actually use it almost like a push knife. Um, now, again, you know, people will quite happily argue that you can do this with your knife as well, and of course you can. Um, but one of the things I like is because you've got such a big blade in your hand and you've got your, um, the way you hold it gives you a lot of control. You can essentially just kind of sit here and especially if you've got high spots or little areas that you, you're getting close to sort of the inside of your bowl um, and you don't want to take the risk of too many axe hits, you can just use it just to smooth things off. Um, and to be honest, you can actually finish the bowl this way. Um, I prefer moving over to a knife for the slightly more sort of fine detail work. But uh, this does give you a lot of versatility and a lot of control. Um, and you can get some quite nice smooth, uh, smooth edges out of it as well. Right then guys, so there you go, just another really quick episode. We've now roughed these two out and started rounding them over. Um, so they are now beginning to look a lot more like Cooks's, um, certainly on the bottom edge anyway. Now I could go further with my axe on these today, um, but I'm not going to because what I want to do in the next episode, when I move over to my knife, um, I want to sort of show you not only how you would do it to round them off after using an axe, um, but I've left them relatively thick just to show you that it can all be done with a knife. So if you don't have an axe or you're not comfortable using them, um, especially for sort of finer detail work like this, um, you don't have to. You can certainly use a knife as well. Um, and that's what I'll be looking at next episode. So I hope it was useful, guys. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys.